Hey guys, Panzer J back here in Operation Skyfall. We're up to turn 14. It's January of 1943. 14.5 UK Commonwealth and 14.6 for the Free French. So let's get right into our two UK tech rolls. We're going to try for improved factories, uh, stage 2, 7 or higher, and jet fighter, stage 2, 8 or higher. So first uh, factories, an 8 does succeed, and jets. 11 so that was nice so for the first time in a few turns we get two for two so factories go to stage three and jets go to stage three so we might oop might be able to get some jets on the board before the game ends that'd be kind of cool okay so for the united kingdom we have a robust economy with 41 ipp we're spending all of it we're going to do a medium armor for six uh two artillery for eight that's 14 a Marine for 4 is 18. An Airborne for 3 is 21. Another uh, Medium Armor for 6 is 27. Two Militia for 4 is 31. And a Fighter for 10 is 41. Um, the FEC has 10. They're spending all of it. Two Gurkhas for 8. And then they're going to upgrade a Militia for 2. That's their 10. Anzac has 10, but we're only going to spend 2 on a Militia and save 8. Okay, we do have a handful of attacks. They're all fairly... Uh, minor, but, <clears throat> and I didn't get Pete's scramble option. He does have two scramble options here in Western Europe. I don't think he will scramble. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get a hold of him. It didn't seem like he was available this morning in the group chat. So um, here in A22, we'll have a naval transport. How about the, we'll have the Canadian one do some action. So that'll pick up the two Marines in London and then come over one to A23 Drop one Marine in the Netherlands and one in Belgium. Okay. Um, also coming over is going to be two heavy cruisers from A-22. They're going to pr provide shore bombard, so one heavy cruiser to each of those territories. We'll also have two destroyers come over as part of the escort um, units. And then from London, we're going to have three of our five fighters go into, it doesn't matter, Pete's got a militia in each, but three fighters will go into Belgium with the one Marine. And then the other two fighters, if I can grab them, the other two fighters, the tactical bomber and the medium bomber, all from London, go into the Netherlands. So Pete does have two fighters in West Germany, so he could scramble to either territory. I don't think he would, um, but that is what's going into those two battles. Um, then from London, we have two strat bombers. So um, we do have long range aircraft, and I had forgotten that bumped up the strat bombers by two, movement of two. Um, so thanks to Hambone for reminding me of that. So from London, two strat bombers, if I don't knock everything over, are going to go ahead and pick up the two airborne. And we now have a movement of nine because the uh, strat bombers are up to eight because of long-range aircraft and plus one for the air base in London. So a movement of nine. So the two strat bombers are going to go one English Channel, two Picardy, three Alsace, four Switzerland, five Austria. Drop a paratrooper there in Austria. Um, Pete doesn't have any ground units there, so he can't scramble. So that's five. Then they're going to go six to Hungary drop off the other paratrooper, and again, Pete doesn't have any ground units, so that's six. They'll go seven, Eastern Yugoslavia, eight, Bulgaria, nine, and land in Istanbul. So that should be our movement of nine. Um, and those two should just be walk-ons. And I didn't go over uh, any territories that have planes in them, so that shouldn't, shouldn't matter either. Okay, and our final attack is a risky one, um, but it's getting late in the game, and we got to keep the pressure up on the Germans. So I've set aside some of the units in this fleet here in M8. So here in M8, two battleships, a light cruiser, a destroyer, a fleet sub, and a naval transport are gonna pick up one infantry from Lower Egypt, come up here to Sea Zone M7, pick up the cavalry, that's a movement of one, then two, then three into, uh, what is that, M5? M5 and drop the cavalry and the infantry in uh, Western Yugoslavia. 
and I will have Shore Bombard with two uh, battleships. Pete's just got a militia there, so this is the risky one. Uh, it is mountainous, so uh, the infantry will be just a one, and then assuming that uh, I survive the first round and it continues into round two, the cavalry gets offloaded, but that'll only be a two because of the mountains. Um, but I do get two shore bombards with the battleships, but they are also, I believe, reduced because of the mountains, so there'll only be three. So hopefully I can hit on one of those two threes and it'll be over with. Okay, and those are our five battles, nothing with the FEC or ANZAC. Okay, so battle one here in uh, Belgium. We've got a Marine and three fighters. We do have a shore bombard, so our uh, heavy cruiser is a two. And 11 misses. And then we've got our three fighters at sixes. Uh, two, seven, and 12. So we got our one hit. The militia in return, uh, four misses. So we should take uh, Belgium there with a Marine. Okay, battle two is in the Netherlands. We again have a shore bombard with our heavy cruiser. And then we've got a Marine, two fighters, two uh, tactical, and a medium uh, bomber. So let's do our shore bombard with the heavy cruiser first. A one. Well, there you go. We got our hit. So that takes out the Netherlands. So a Marine. I'll have to get a sculpt for that. A Marine takes the Netherlands. Uh, the other two were walk-ons here in Austria and Hungary with the two paratroopers. And then the last battle is our dicey one. So we're in, uh, what is that, Western Yugoslavia. So we got two battleships with shore bombards of three. So let's hope we can pull one of these off. Ah, just missed, four and a 12. Okay, my infantry at a one, three misses. His militia at a two, a nine misses. Okay, so now I've got the cavalry can offload. So I've got a cavalry at a two, an infantry at a one. So let's do the cavalry at a two. Ooh, a four misses. The infantry at a one, nine misses. His militia at a two, seven misses. My cavalry at a two, oh, a three misses. My infantry at a one, ooh, a one hits. There you go. His militia at a two, ooh, and a two hit. So we each got a hit, but okay. So I will take um, the infantry is way better on defense. Um, I guess we'll take the cavalry. So an infantry takes Western Yugoslavia. Okay, so we went up a total of 10, I believe. Netherlands, two, two for Belgium, two for Austria, two for Hungary, two for Western Yugoslavia. So that's 10 bucks. So let's go over here. Germany from 62 down to 52. And the UK from 34 to 44. Okay, so how about non combat? So let's fly our planes back. Everything's just going back to London. So we've got a tactical and a medium bomber flying back. Uh, we've got five fighters flying back. Um, these ships are all here in A23. Um, still in A-22, we've got six transports, not that we need all that capacity. They're going to pick up the three medium armor in London and drop them off here in Normandy. Uh, I think that's it over here. Um, then what about some rail moves? Well, all these ships here are the ones that participated in the M-5 battle, so I'll just... I know it's a mess, but just throw all these guys over there for now. I'll clean that up later. Uh, let's see. So we're going to rail. We got a two rail capacity here in Africa. So one, we're going to rail two infantry from Cape Town. One is going to stop in Cairo. And the other one is going to rail all the way up to Bulgaria or uh, Istanbul. I think that's it over here. Nothing else going on there. 
Um, okay, for the FEC, we do have some movements here. So, here in Bangle, well, we already we have a militia here in Bangle, but coming over is going to be our stack of Gurkhas from Benares, which is nine Gurkhas. Okay. Um, also, the four infantry in Benares are going to come over. And then from Calcutta, we're going to have the five British infantry come over, the four artillery come over, and we're going to have a total of, I believe, four. Four AAA all come over. Okay. So between Benares and Calcutta, moving into Bengal, are going to be 11 Gurkhas, uh, nine infantry, four AAA, four artillery. And then for the Australians, we're going to rail one of our infantry from Sydney to Western Australia. And then our three fighters in Sydney are going to go one, two, three to Western Australia. And I believe that's it for the UK. Um, okay, on to unit placement. Okay, so in London, for the United Kingdom, we've got a medium armor, two artillery. So let's go ahead, put those over here. Two artillery, uh, medium armor. We're also going to put down the Marine and the Airborne in London. So that's our five capacity there. Uh, let's see. We've got a medium armor that we're placing in our factory here in Cape Town. We've got a fighter that we're placing at our factory in um, uh, Istanbul. And then we got two militia. Where do we want those? Uh, one is going to go in Istanbul, and one is going to go over here in Normandy. Okay. And then the FEC, two Gurkhas, and a militia upgrade. So the militia upgrade is right here in uh, Bengal. So take off that militia, add another infantry, and then both of the uh, Gurkhas are going down in Bengal as well, so that's, i got to get a card for all of that. Um, and then the militia for Anzac here in Western Australia. So that should be it. Okay, so how about income? Uh, the UK is now sitting at 44, and I think they have a three bonus, so that's 47. They spent everything. Um uh, the FEC spent everything. They're sitting at eight, but I can't remember if they have their two dollar bonus or not. I think they do. So they're at ten, and then Anzac saved eight, and they're at six. So they're at fourteen. They have no bonus. So I think it's forty-seven, ten, and fourteen for the Commonwealth. Okay, under the Free French. Uh, Four dollars to spend. They're spending all of it on a Gurkha or on a uh, French Foreign Legion. Uh, they only have one attack. They're going to come over here, um, trying to survive again with this sub. It's going to come over and go one, two to P thirty four, and attempt to convoy the uh, Japanese there. And that's our one attack. Okay, so still no radar for the Japanese. So we should be plus two. So again, we'll use red as the Japanese, and we'll use black for uh, France with a plus two for the French. Oh, wow, a whopping one again. Okay, seven to six. Eh, it is what it is. It took a buck off. Okay, non-combat. We're going to have this naval transport leave port. We should be able to leave even with that sub there and go one, two, three, and go in port in uh, French Guiana there at our major port. Uh, we've got a medium armor and an infantry combining to go into Sudan. And then we've got our French Foreign Legion and Syria railing down to Nubia. So that should be it for non-combat. Um, unit placement, the French Foreign Legion goes in Syria. And that's it for the French. 
Uh, so they are sitting at $3. They spent everything, so 3 is what they should have. So let's go ahead and do a unit recap. Let's go over here with Australia first. So a couple things change. Um, in Sydney, we now have uh, four infantry, four militia, an artillery, and a motorized infantry. Western Australia is an infantry, a militia, and three uh, fighters. Calcutta is now uh, 11 infantry, three AAA, three militia, and the fortification. Uh, Bengal, oh, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, we got 11 Gurkhas, four artillery, four AAA, and 10 infantry. Um, some of those 10 infantry are FEC and UK. I believe the breakdown is 7 uh, UK, 3 FEC. Um, in Africa, Cape Town has a militia, an infantry, and a medium armor. Uh, Cairo has 3 infantry and a militia. The fleet in M8 now consists of a battleship, a battle cruiser, a light cruiser, two destroyers, a torpedo boat destroyer, a coastal sub, and two fleet submarines. Uh Istanbul um, consists of nine infantry, one militia, two artillery, one fighter, two strat bombers, uh, coastal artillery, and a fort. Uh, the fleet in M8 is two battleships, a light cruiser, a destroyer, a fleet sub, and a naval transport. Uh, there's a paratrooper each in Austria. And Hungary, there's an infantry in Western Yugoslavia. In Europe, there's a Marine each in Belgium and Netherlands. Uh, C Zone A23 consists of a Canadian naval transport, two heavy cruisers, two destroyers, a coastal defense ship. The fleet in A22 is six naval transports, one heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, one of which is French, and four destroyers. Normandy has two heavy cruisers in port, one militia, three AAA, six medium armor, and 22 infantry. And London has um, two artillery, one medium armor, one airborne, one marine, five fighters, one medium bomber, one tactical bomber, and one air transport. So that should be it for the UK Commonwealth. Turning things over now to Global War 36 enthusiast in Italy.